Baroque music is a style of music composed from approximately 1600 to 1750. This era followed the Renaissance, and was followed in turn by the Classical era. The word, Baroque, comes from the Portuguese word barico, meaning misshapen pearl. The negative use of the word comes from a description by Charles de Brosses of the ornate and heavily ornamented architecture of the Pamphili Palace, in Rome. Although the term was applied to architecture and art criticism in the 19th century, it wasn't until the 20th century that the term Baroque was applied to music. Baroque music forms a major portion of the classical music canon, being widely studied, performed, and listened to. Composers of the Baroque era include Johann Sebastian Bach, George Friedrich Handel, Alessandro Scarlatti, Domenico Scarlatti, Antonio Vivaldi, Henry Purcell, Georg Philipp Telemann, Jean-Baptiste Lully, Archangelo Corelli, Tommaso Albinoni, François Couperin, Denis Gautier, Claudio Monteverdi, Heinrich Schutz, Jean-Philippe Rameau, Jean de Smas Zelenka, and Johann Pachelbel. The Baroque period saw the creation of tonality. During the period, composers and performers used more elaborate musical ornamentation, made changes in musical notation, and developed new instrumental playing techniques. Baroque music expanded the size, range, and complexity of instrumental performance, and also established opera, cantata, oratorio, concerto, and sonata as musical genres. Many musical terms and concepts from this era are still in use today. Etymology History of European art music The term Baroque is generally used by music historians to describe a broad range of styles from a wide geographic region, mostly in Europe, composed over a period of approximately 150 years. Although it was long thought that the word as a critical term was first applied to architecture, in fact it appears earlier in reference to music. In an anonymous, satirical review of the premiere in October 1733 of Rameau's Hippolyte A.R.C., printed in the Mercury de France in May 1734, the critic implied that the novelty in this opera was Dubaric, complaining that the music lacked coherent melody was filled with unremitting dissonances, constantly changed key and meter, and speedily ran through every compositional device. The systematic application by historians of the term Baroque to music of this period is a relatively recent development. In 1919, Kurt Sachs became the first to apply the five characteristics of Heinrich Wolflin's theory of the Baroque systematically to music. Critics were quick to question the attempt to transpose Wolflin's categories to music, however, and in the second quarter of the 20th century independent attempts were made by Manfred Buckeser and by Suzanne Clerc ex Lejeune to use autonomous technical analysis rather than comparative abstractions. In order to avoid the adaptation of theories based on the plastic carts and literature to music, all of these efforts resulted in appreciable disagreement about time boundaries of the period, especially concerning when it began. In English the term acquired currency only in the 1940s, in the writings of Bacosa and Paul Henry Lang. As late as 1960 there was still considerable dispute in academic circles, particularly in France and Britain, whether it was meaningful to lump together music as diverse as that of Jacopo Perry, Domenico Scarlatti, and J.S. Bark under a single rubric. Nevertheless, the term has become widely used and accepted for this broad range of music. It may be helpful to distinguish the Baroque from both the preceding and following periods of musical history. History The Baroque period is divided into three major phases, early, middle, and late. Although they overlap in time, they are conventionally dated from 1580 to 1630, from 1630 to 1680, and from 1680 to 1730. Early Baroque music The Florentine Camerata was a group of humanists, musicians, poets and intellectuals in late Renaissance Florence who gathered under the patronage of Count Giovanni de Bardi to discuss and guide trends in the arts. 
especially music and drama. In reference to music, they base their ideals on a perception of classical musical drama that value discourse and oration. As such, they rejected their contemporaries' use of polyphony in instrumental music, and discussed such ancient Greek music devices as monody, which consisted of a solo singing accompanied by a kithara. The early realizations of these ideas, including Jacopo Peri's Daphne and Laurida marks the beginning of opera, which in turn was somewhat of a catalyst for Baroque music. Concerning music theory, the more widespread use of figured bass represents the developing importance of harmony as the linear underpinnings of polyphony. Harmony is the end result of counterpoint, and figured bass is a visual representation of those harmonies commonly employed in musical performance. Composers began concerning themselves with harmonic progressions, and also employed the tritone, perceived as an unstable interval, to create dissonance. Investment in harmony had also existed among certain composers in the Renaissance, notably Carlo Giuldo. However, the use of harmony directed towards tonality, rather than modality, marks the shift from the Renaissance into the Baroque period. This led to the idea that chords, rather than notes, could provide a sense of closure, one of the fundamental ideas that became known as tonality. By incorporating these new aspects of composition, Claudio Monteverdi furthered the transition from the Renaissance style of music to that of the Baroque period. He developed two individual styles of composition, the heritage of Renaissance polyphony and the new basso continuo technique of the Baroque. With the writing of the operas L'Orfeo and L'Incoronazione di Poppy among others, Monteverdi brought considerable attention to the new genre of opera. Middle Baroque music The rise of the centralized court is one of the economic and political features of what is often labeled the age of absolutism, personified by Louis XIV of France. The style of palace and the court system of manners and arts he fostered became the model for the rest of Europe. The realities of rising church and state patronage created the demand for organized public music, as the increasing availability of instruments created the demand for chamber music. The Middle Baroque period in Italy is defined by the emergence of the cantata, oratorio, and opera during the 1630s, and a new concept of melody and harmony that elevated the status of the music to one of equality with the words which formerly had been regarded as preeminent. The florid, coloratura monody of the early Baroque gave way to a simpler, more polished melodic style. These melodies were built from short, cadentially delimited ideas often based on stylized dance patterns drawn from the saraband or the curanta. The harmonies, too, might be simpler than in the early Baroque monody, and the accompanying bass lines were more integrated with the melody producing a contrapuntal equivalence of the parts that later led to the device of an initial bass anticipation of the aria melody. This harmonic simplification also led to a new formal device of the differentiation of recitative and aria. The most important innovators of this style were the Romans Luigi Rossi and Giacomo Carissima, who were primarily composers of cantatas and oratorios, respectively, and the Venetian Francesco Cavalli, who was principally an opera composer. Later important practitioners of this style include Antonio Sesta, Giovanni Legrenzi, and Alessandro Stradella. The Middle Baroque had absolutely no bearing at all on the theoretical work of Johann Fuchs, who systematized the strict counterpoint characteristic of earlier ages in his Gradus ad Paranassum. One preeminent example of a court style composer is Jean Baptiste Lully. He purchased patents from the monarchy to be the sole composer of operas for the king and to prevent others from having opera staged. He completed 15 lyric tragedies and left unfinished Ashiele Pollockson. Musically, he did not establish the string-dominated norm for orchestras, which was inherited from the Italian opera, and the characteristically French five-part disposition had been used in the ballet from the time of Louis XIII. He did, however, introduce this ensemble to the lyric theatre, with the upper parts often doubled by recorders, flutes, and oboes. 
and the bass by bassoons. Trumpets and kettle drums were frequently added for heroic scenes. Archangelo Corelli is remembered as influential for his achievements on the other side of musical technique, as a violinist who organized violin, technique and pedagogy, and in purely instrumental music, particularly his advocacy and development of the Concerto Grosso. Whereas Lully was in constant court, Corelli was one of the first composers to publish widely and have his music performed all over Europe. As with Lully's stylization and organization of the opera, the Concerto Grosso is built on strong contrasts, sections alternate between those played by the full orchestra and those played by a smaller group. Dynamics were terraced, that is with a sharp transition from loud to soft and back again. Fast sections and slow sections were juxtaposed against each other. Numbered among his students is Antonio Vivaldi, who later composed hundreds of works based on the principles in Corelli's trio sonatas and concerti. In contrast to these composers, dieteric Buxtehuda was not a creature of court but instead was church musician. Holding the posts of organist and workmeister at the Marienkirche at Lübeck, his duties as workmeister involved acting as the secretary, treasurer, and business manager of the church, while his position as organist included playing for all the main services, sometimes in collaboration with other instrumentalists or vocalists, who were also paid by the church. Entirely outside of his official church duties, he organized and directed a concert series known as the Abend Musiken, which included performances of sacred dramatic works regarded by his contemporaries as the equivalent of operas. Late Baroque music The work of George Frederick Handel, Johann Sebastian Bach and the contemporaries, including Domenico Scarlatti, Antonio Vivaldi, Jean-Philippe Rameau, Georg Philipp de Lemon, and others advanced the Baroque era to its climax. Through the work of Johann Fux, the Renaissance style of polyphony was made the basis for the study of composition. A continuous worker, Handel borrowed from others and often recycled his own material. He was also known for reworking pieces such as the famous Messiah, which premiered in 1742, for available singers and musicians. Timeline of Baroque Composers Baroque Instruments Strings Violin O Piccolo Violin, viol, viola, viola di amore, viola, pomposa, tenor violin, cello, bass violin, contrabass, lute, thebo, arch lute, mandora, bandora, angelic, mandolin, chitin, guitar, harp, hurdy gurdy, woodwind, baroque flute, chalumo, cortel, dulcian, musit de cor, baroque oboe, racket, Recorder, bassoon, brasses, cornet, natural horn, baroque trumpet, trombadata RC, flat trumpet, serpent, sackbut posana, trombone, keyboards, clavichord, tangent piano, forty piano, early version of piano, harpsichord, organ, percussion, timpani, snare drum, tenor drum, tambourine, castanets. Styles and forms. Dance suite A characteristic Baroque form was the dance suite. Some dance suites by Bach are called partitas, although this term is also used for other collections of pieces. The dance suite often consists of the following movements. Overture The Baroque suite often began with a French overture, which was followed by a succession of dances of different types principally the following four. Alamanda, often the first dance of an instrumental suite. The Alamanda was a very popular dance that had its origins in the German Renaissance era. The Alamanda was played at a moderate tempo and could start on any beat of the bar. Curanta, the second dance is the Curanta, a lively French dance in triple meter. The Italian version is called the Coranta. Saraband, the Saraband, a Spanish dance, is the third of the four basic dances, and is one of the slowest of the Baroque dances. It is also in triple meter and can start on any beat of the bar, although there is an emphasis on the second beat, creating the characteristic, halting, or iambic rhythm of the Saraband. 
Giga, the Giga is an upbeat and lively baroque dancing compound meter, typically the concluding movement of an instrumental suite, and the fourth of its basic dance types. The Giga can start on any beat of the bar and is easily recognized by its rhythmic feel. The Giga originated in the British Isles. Its counterpart in folk music is the Jig. These four dance types make up the majority of 17th century suites. Later suites interpolate one or more additional dances between the Saraband and Giga. Gavotte. The Gavotte can be identified by a variety of features. It is in four quarters time and always starts on the third beat of the bar. Although this may sound like the first beat in some cases, as the first and third beats are the strong beats in quadruple time, the Gavotte is played at a moderate tempo, although in some cases it may be played faster. Bore. The Bore is similar to the Gavotte as it is in two halves time, although it starts on the second half of the last beat of the bar, creating a different feel to the dance. The bore is commonly played at a moderate tempo, although for some composers, such as Handel, it can be taken at a much faster tempo. Minuet The minuet is perhaps the best known of the Baroque dances in triple meter. It can start on any beat of the bar. In some suites there may be a minuet high and two, played in succession, with the minuet high repeated. Passapede. The passapede is a fast dance in binary form and triple meter that originated as a court dance in Brittany. Examples can be found in later suites such as those of Bach and Handel. Rigaudin. The Rigaudin is a lively French dance in duple meter, similar to the Bore, but rhythmically simpler. It originated as a family of closely related southern French folk dances, traditionally associated with the provinces of Avarais, Languedoc, Dauphiné, and Provence. Other features in tray, sometimes an entree is composed as part of a suite, but there it is purely instrumental music and no dance is performed. It is an introduction, a march-like piece played during the entrance of a dancing group, or played before a ballet, usually in four quarters time. It is related to the Italian, intradar, basso continuo, a kind of continuous accompaniment notated with a new music notation system, figure bass, usually for a sustaining bass instrument and a keyboard instrument, the concerto and concerto grosso, monody, an outgrowth of song, homophony, music with one melodic voice and rhythmically similar accompaniment. Dramatic musical forms like opera, drama per musica, combined instrumental vocal forms, such as the oratorio and cantata, new instrumental techniques, like tremolo and pizzicato, the da capo aria, enjoyed sureness, the ritornello aria, repeated short instrumental interruptions of vocal passages, the concertato style, contrast in sound between groups of instruments. Extensive ornamentation, genres, vocal operas is Wailer Opera Seria Opera Comic Opera Ballet, Mask, Oratorio, Passion, Cantata, Mass, Anthem, Monody, Chorale, Instrumental Chorale Composition, Concerto Grosso, Fugue, Sweet Alamanda Curanta Saraband Giga Gavotte Minuet. Sonata Sonata da Camera Sonata da Chiesa Trio Sonata, Partite, Canzona, Sinfonia, Fantasia, Ricerca, Toccata, Prelude, Chacon, Passacaglia, Chorale Prelude, Stylus Fantasticus.